Hi everybody, this is Lisa from loverdoodles.com and today I'm here with my daughter Kayla and my other daughter Maisie. Maisie. And today we are going to talk about slow feeders. Slow feeders, yep. But before we jump in and talk about these, Kayla has something to say. Make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below. Hello Maisie. Hit it. Subscribe. <laughs> So the reason that we got these slow feeders originally was because of our puggle Brody. Um, he would eat his food in like a matter of seconds. We'd set it down and 30 seconds later he would be done. He would be uh, coughing and choking along the way because he didn't want easy. <laughs> <laughs> she knows it too. To eat, to eat his food. So um, anyways, we got these and this has been amazing. A lifesaver, really. It's been a lifesaver. <laughs> now what took Brody 30 seconds to eat takes him probably anywhere from like seven to nine minutes yeah. um, when I time it. It takes him a while. And since Brody had such good luck with it, we got one for Maisie. Little Christmas so, gift. Yes, a little <laughs> Christmas gift for Maisie. Brody's is the medium size and Maisie's is the large. Yes. They also uh, sell a small size. Mm -hmm. It currently, this feeds two cups and this right here feeds four cups. Um, and yeah, so really the main problem as well is that it really can actually prevent bloat. So many dogs can get bloat from having it in just a normal size or regular bowl. But if they have one of these slow feeders, like in the, you know, not shape or a size of a maze or things like that, it'll kind of help them as well with improving digestion. Right. And if you, whether you use dry food, um, you use canned dog food, raw food, um, you can anything. use any of that you can put in here. Mm -hmm. And you should get the same results as <laughs> us. Right, Maisie? It's also great for stimulation, for mental stimu stimulation, obviously, because um, it's kind of in the shape of a maze, as I said before. Um, it just kind of trains their mind to do different things that they've actually, you know, never really done. So it's kind of really cool. Mm -hmm. It is. And then we also have something that we do in, um, usually more in the summertime. Yes. So this is a little, little tip. Um, what you can do is put their food and put water in with it and then put it in the freezer, take it out, and then you have a little like frozen popsicle treat. food treat for them. <laughs> and that will also uh, slow them down even more when they're yes. eating. Especially during those hot summer months, it will just really cool them down, especially if you have a pool nearby, definitely go bring it in there, but also mm -hmm. go and bring the popsicle. Yeah, mm -hmm. you like popsicles, huh? Oh yeah. Older man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you liked today's video and if your dog is eating too fast and you want to try to find a solution, I definitely recommend these slow mm -hmm. feeders. You, she loves it. She loves <laughs> it and you won't be uh, disappointed. No. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you comment, like, and hit that subscribe button right down below. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. <laughs>